Hey, welcome back everyone. We're going to pick this video up where my previous one left off. So ending with direct current electrode positive, this is where we're going to start talking about direct current electrode negative. So let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, diagram. Now it looks pretty similar to the diagram that we saw with direct current electrode positive. But in case you're forgetting a little bit, let's go ahead and re-familiarize ourselves with some of, the, some of the objects that we see here. Starting in the upper right, we've got this object that's going to represent our welding machine. We see amps, volts, little setting uh, ranges. We've got our positive terminal, our negative terminal, and attached to our positive terminal is going to be our ground clamp and attached to our negative terminal is going to be our electrode and electrode holder. So it's just the opposite of direct current electrode positive. So if we think back to direct current electrode positive, our electrode cable was hooked into the positive terminal, whereas here with direct current electrode negative, our ground clamp is hooked into the positive. And with direct current electrode positive, the cable that was hooked into the negative terminal was the ground clamp, whereas here, with direct current electrode negative, our electrode holder is hooked into the negative terminal. So the only two things that really switch are where our cables are attached to the machine. Now, with this being direct current, if we recall um, thinking about direct current in general, current or electricity flows in one direction and one direction only. And that is from negative to positive. So what separates direct current electrode negative from direct current electrode positive is basically just where your cables are hooked up. So the current, if we follow these arrows, the current still goes from negative to positive. The only thing that changes is where our cables are attached to on the machine. Now this is going to change some of the characteristics of our weld, of our welding arc, but let's not worry about that too much right now. Let's just focus on the flow of current. So following these arrows, we see that in DCEN, current begins at the welding machine exits through the negative terminal into the electrode cable, into the electrode holder, into the electrode, into the welding arc, or I should say through the welding arc, into the workpiece, the work table, then into our ground clamp and into the ground cable, returning back to the welding machine at the positive terminal. So it's everything that we learned about DCEP with our ground clamp and electrode uh, cables being switched. Now, if we think to DCEP, where two thirds of the heat are gonna be focused on the electrode and one third on the base material, that is also reversed with DCEN. So with DCEN, or direct current electrode negative, two thirds of the heat are gonna be focused on the base metal and one third on the electrode. So an easy way to think about this is look at the flow of current. We see that it's flowing through the electrode cable from the electrode and then it's hitting or going through the workpiece. So it's coming from the electrode into the workpiece. So if you kind of remember that, it helps to uh, commit to memory the concept that there's going to be more heat focused on the workpiece than on the electrode. And so one more time, with DCEN, two-thirds of the heat is going to be focused on the base metal or whatever it is that you're welding on, and the remaining one-third of heat is going to be on the electrode. And we'll get into a little bit more about how DCEP and DCEN are going to affect the weld in a later video. For now, let's just keep it simple. So if I go ahead and I click over to a different frame, you can see here 
the arrow is just traveling along the same path that our current is going to take as it travels from the welding machine into the electrode cable through the welding arc back into the ground cable and as it returns to the welding machine so pretty simple easy straightforward i think um, and this is pretty much it for direct current electrode negative just remember that what separates DCEN from DCEP is where our cables are attached to the machine and the heat distribution of the welding arc. Two thirds of the heat are going to be focused on the base metal and one third on the electrode. And that's pretty much it. And thank you for watching.